Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on this channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Marlene and today I am building a more than farmhouse in Willow Creek. And this one is part of the base game world save file. Um, we are in my favorite building neighborhood, Fonder Cove. It is built on a 40 by 30 lot and has four bedrooms and four bathrooms. There are two rooms for teenagers one for a girl and one for a boy and uh, one room for a child this time for a little girl i do so much boys room so it was time to to maybe make like a room for a girl <laughs> but i but but i love to to create boys room they they are so much easier for me to make so that's why i guess i do them it was time for a little girl <laughs> Uh, I didn't want to make a too big house so that it at least could fit like five bedrooms but four bedrooms I think was enough. I took some inspiration from the nettle farm build I created for just a few weeks ago with the big open doors and also the glass house that's connected to the build. I decided to use big windows to get that modern touch and also the feeling that it's not too empty inside as well. Because later in this build you will see that I have made the wall height taller and we will talk about why later in the video. So let's just say that it was very problematic. It took me many days to actually just do the inside. <laughs> so it, it was, it was kind of hard. But we will, we will get to that later. Let's proceed. This is a typical modern farmhouse that have this big windows and a combine of a cozy country living design with a touch of nature, like wood colors and also stone. It has this A-shaped big roofs and I added a glass roof and also a skylight window. And this is the part I took the inspiration from the Nettle Farm build. I made the doors bigger with the tool mod so that it looked like two big barn doors that you can open in the summer and close in the winter. And I like this idea. It really gave the country living touch to the build. <laughs> I really like big windows. It makes the room so less empty and also you get a lot of sunlight inside the build. It's amazing when you want to take like beautiful pictures of the interior as well in The Sims 4. It gives that, that uh, little detail in uh, the pictures and in real life it makes me feel a lot of more happiness with big windows if I'm going to be honest. Here at home I have two big windows and I always make sure to have them open on the day. And it's so cozy in the winter when you can see the snow falling down or when it rains. I love it. <laughs> I decided to create a basement on the outside of the build. And I got the idea that I could remove the ceiling of the basement and also add stairs on the outside. So that the simmers could get access from the porch down to the outside basement. First I was thinking to add maybe a pool instead of a basement but I changed my mind because I didn't think it would fit the build or the environment. If you have watched me long enough you probably see the basement garage a lot. I love to use that trick because instead of making a big garage that is non-functional to the simmers and save some space, I just created a fake garage by using two upscale doors and placed them against the wall instead. We can't use cars in sims anyway and you have to admit that it looks like a garage, you know, with the doors. It's like a cute illusion when you look at it <laughs> and you don't need the tool mod to do this as well so that's really good for console players. Um, it's not like the simmers can use the car in game anyway so or you just play something else inside there. But if you want to save some space then fake garage is a great idea. This is before the platform. I placed different height of foundation so that it looked like steps up to the house and then I placed the stone fa fence from the debug menu and lowered them, lowered them down with the tool mod. 
I use the garden plots also from the debug menu. They are amazing and very easy to use. I like to place them a little out from the foundation and fill the gap with a lot of flowers. <laughs> I usually, I usually use the same plants, I have noticed. The same with the trees. I use, uh, I use like, you know, the, the pine trees a lot. They are so beautiful in The Sims and also in real life. And you can have them all year round, at least what I think. <laughs> I also want to show you all my new logo. Yay! <laughs> the amazing cat of Mary Peach made my new logo and my new Twitch emotes as well. She is a very talented art commissioner and I wanted her to create my cat Stig and also emotes of him. And wow! She did an amazing work. They really looks like him. I have linked her Instagram in the description below. And if you want someone to make emotes or new logo and you don't know where to find someone like her, then you should definitely get in touch with her. And it does cost money. You contact her on Instagram. You can write a message to her there. She is very professional and wants you to be pleased with her emotes and logos. And she's also very kind and easy to talk with. Which is a... Uh, a big plus so go 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 do it do it now and of course i use my favorite item in the sims planks oh my god planks i love using planks especially in my base game builds and i know i have i have get these comments like why do you use so much planks in your builds etc etc well that's because we are kind of limited in base game <laughs> and it can be pretty boring so of course you want to spice it up a little bit and with the debug menu and the tool mod this is that is possible so why not and that's why i use planks a lot if you start using it in your build you will start loving it too i decided to make the outside basement like a little garden place um with pots and herbs and greenery a lot of plant as well and I like the idea to place wall plants around the basement area. It was so empty on the walls and it fit very well. It's, it's from the debug menu and they are base game. Very good if you seriously don't know what to, to have on the walls. And I make the little scale area where your sim can create decor and after while furniture. <laughs> it was so cute and a good area to get your sim skilled with the tools. This build took me longer to make because first I needed a, a long break from everything. Um, I haven't felt so well mentally and I started to feel very stressed over small things and also very unmotivated to build. And uh, that's when you should take a break. So I did. I started to play other games like Fall Guys and watched Harry Potter movies and was eating a lot of candy. <laughs> And just took care of myself um, and it was so nice I I need I needed that just to do nothing I I always do something and I felt like just do something for yourself Marlene and I'm telling you you all should do that really stress can really drag you down I know that for sure but now I'm back and I'm feeling so much better I'm restored <laughs> And I also want to tell you that now on Friday, the 20 uh, November, I will tour people's build that make uh, that that uh, make my shell. Um, I will tour it on stream on Twitch, and I can't wait to watch all of your amazing builds. I'm 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 really excited. There were so many people participated, and uh, and it got me so happy. Thank you so much. And I have to talk about the new platform update. I have to say that I am a little disappointed because of so many glitches at, at the moment. Not for just me, for everyone. And there have been glitches like the floor disappearing. I had the glitch that I can't place something really on the platform. So I had to use the tool mod to place something there or elevate an object. And even if, it, if I elevate an object and place it on the platform, the object disappeared. It was really frustrating and it still are. My sim died for no reason as well, but they are trying to fix the problem. So hopefully they do soon and very fast because um, yeah, it's not really helpful that it's glitching and stuff. <laughs> and the game also turned, turned off by itself, you know. 
that that happened a lot actually when I built the uh, build this house as well. It was like okay, I built it, I I saved it, and even if I saved it, I came back and it still was unsaved. I was like so mad. I it was really frustrating. But but now I hope hopefully they will do something about that. <laughs> they will fix the problem. Other than that, I liked the idea with platforms and when my build was done, it was so beautiful on the inside with the platforms. The only thing that they need to do is to fix it, that's all. I know that the washing machines are not playable, but just the idea of having a washing machine in the build is for me important, especially when you build a house for family. And to have it in the basement is a great idea, just for some decorations. I'm using painting, paintings from Simsational 2 and Jewel64 in this build. You can all download them from their gallery. I'm so happy we can be able to use their amazing paintings. I want the different color on the counters, so I place paintings from the debug menu against the counters. And you can also use that method in the kitchen. It is functional. If you all wonder where you can find the square wall light, you can find it in the debug menu. It's so cute behind the mirror and when you go to play mode, you can't see the ugly square shape. <laughs> it disappears, so that's really good. The child's room, I got the idea that I can lower the bed with the tool mod a little so that it looked like a cozy floor bed and it is functional. Just make sure not to lower too much because if it is, then your sim can't get on the bed. I wanted to create my dream room. I always wanted to have like a cozy loft room or what to call it <laughs> when I was a kid with the hanging lights and so on and like a little play area so cozy and because it is a girl's room i wanted to add some purple colors and blue colors these two colors fit so well together i think when i created the boys room i imagined that it was a nerdy teenager who lived here <laughs> who loves video games and would also have that as a career or a music career when he was growing up and these amazing paintings are from Simsational too. They make the room so much cooler and nerdy and I love it. <laughs> I also added a big cool TV and a small walk-in closet. I was more thinking that this is a room that he can grow up in and even have when he was older. Uh, because it does look like it can be for a grow up as well as it can be for a teenager. Um, I would also ask if you want me to do more speed builds or if I should do stop motion builds. Sadly I can't do both because that would be too much work for me. But if you want me to do more spe speed builds then please give a like and also leave a comment. My favorite room in this build is the teenager girl room. I did the same with the bed here. I lowered it with the tool mod so that it looked like a floor bed and just added a lot of clutters and paintings and lights and also candles. I was actually thinking about Christmas when I created this room and also listened to Harry Potter music as well. I always do that. Makes me con concentrate better. And then I added like Ottomans and uh, placed uh, vents against them. And then I placed towels and rotated them with the tool mod and used them as pillows. I do use the holiday pack in this build which is for free so everyone can download it in sims. I wanted to create a build that would match to the creek house I built two weeks ago. If you haven't seen that one then please check that one out. The playlist is in the description down below and it is a part of the base game save file as well. I will also say that the builds will not be uploaded to the gallery until, until the Willow Creek save file is done because I got a lot of questions about that. Um, next build will probably be a starter home for your sim in Willow Creek and it will be built here in Thunder Cove 
it will be a challenge for me because I am not so good with small builds. But it will be fun at the same time because I like challenges. I'm not going to talk for so much longer because I am still sick and I feel that my voice is cracking up. But please keep on watching. And if you like this video and want me to do more speed builds, then smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and to click on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Bye bye!